Hello world, today we're going to be scraping the infamous Wall Street Bets Reddit to do some quick stock symbol analysis on what's popular on the subreddit. Uh, if you've been living under a rock, you might not have heard about this, but most people have heard about the Wall Street Bets subreddit and their impact on the stock market recently. And basically a bunch of investors got together and started buying the stock to increase the price on companies that have had massive shorts against them from hedge funds, uh, stocks like GameStop, Nokia, and American Airlines, or I'm sorry, AMC Movies. And so uh, it's become famous, a lot of political stuff, and um, you know, admittingly, or for those who were early, they made a lot of money, and then for those who were late, has lost a lot. So much so that they termed it where you post how much you made called gain porn and how much you have lost loss porn. And so um, admittingly, I was late to this to find out about the impact of this subreddit. It's possibly due to my age. I'm a little older and, um, you know, I've invested for quite a long time. So this is probably outside my risk profile. But nonetheless, you know, I wanted to point my digital assistant Shane towards this and see if we can do some scraping. So, uh, but first, welcome to the 126th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the 13th video in my Python for Finance playlist. And today we're going to be using a, a Python library called PRA, P-R-A-W, which is the Python Reddit API um, wrapper and we're just going to do some quick symbol stock market symbol analysis on the top 25 new sub um, posts in the reddit kind of see what they're talking about now you could do a limit of a thousand if you want but just for this video we'll do 25. so to do this first you'll need to go here to reddit preferences prefs apps and i'll leave a link to this in the description and you'll be taken to this page and then all the way at the down at the bottom, it says create a new app. So click that and it'll open this screen. I already have one called Shane. And then you're going to put the name of your application. Do something simple because you're going to need this for the code. You're going to click on script, the description, type in something like use for personal uh, data reasons. And then if you have an about URL to like a website about you or your redirect URL, um, like I put in my YouTube for this. And so, uh, and then you're going to create an app and you'll get two things, a personal use script and then a, an access token. The personal use script code is the smaller numbers and the uh, access token is the larger. And copy that um, or leave that screen open as you go into your Python IDE. So what I've done is uh, I created the client ID the secret token that we just talked about, my own Reddit username, and the password in a separate file called keys. Now I get a lot of questions about what these are in my YouTube videos. So since I do YouTube and I'm making this info public, I have to save it in another file called keys and then I import them. And then you're going to pip install pra, P-R-A-W, and then import it. All right, so let's check out what just, um, I'll go through this, Okay, so let's quickly just run through, not the analysis part, but let's print up uh, the 25 newest subreddits. And so th what I've done is I have imported it into a list, but these are all the 25 last posts split up into separate words in their own strings. So all of us right now, rocket ships. So... Let's go through the code real quick. And so first you're going to declare reddit equals pra dot capital reddit, then client underscore ID equals, and this is where you'll pass the smaller of the numbers, the personal script use, then the secret token, this is the larger, and then you could just pass it as a string. So uh, your ID code like that and then a comma but i have already done that and i am importing my own uh information 
the user agent is what you titled your application. So mine was Shane. And then you'll pass it your actual username and password that you use to log into Reddit. Next, you point the pro towards which subreddit you want it to focus on. So you declare a subreddit equals reddit.subreddit equals, or I'm sorry, and then you pass it Wall Street Bets. Now, I do believe this is case sensitive. So if you are on here, it's better just to copy and paste it directly from the URL. All right, and then I want the top, I declared a variable called top subreddit underscore reddit equals subreddit, which we declared here, dot new. So this is the last 25 and then limit equals, you could do a thousand at a time, I believe. I just did 25 for this video. You can change this to new. There's a bunch of them. You have to read the docs, but I do know you can do top as well. But I'm choosing new. So top would be the most upvoted posts. But since I want to know what's uh, current or hip, I want the newest post. Then I declared this words collection because I want to collect all of these words and just focus on the stock symbols. So for each submission, right, so for each submission in this top subreddit, we're going to just get the title. So title equals submission.title. Now you could do a lot with this. You could do submission.id. You can do submission. Uh, you could read the docs, but there's a lot you can do um, on the individual post. You can get the text, the ID, the URL, images, videos. But for now, I just want the title. Then I want to split it into individual words, and I'll show you why I'm doing this. So title words equals title dot split, and basically that splits each individual submission into words. So I'm going to have 25 individual brackets of words. And then we're going to do words collection, which we defined up here, dot append, then each of these title words. And we printed that out so you can see it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to create another list dictionary of potential stock symbols. Then I created my own because I've tested this for you um, as I built this known not stock. So words that I've seen a bunch that are not stock symbols and I already know that. So upvote, support, YOLO, uh, gain, loss, porn, which we already talked about, um, WSB, now, you got to be careful with how I choose to do this logic because WSB is Wall Street Bets in this scenario, but there are other acronyms that are actually just stock symbols. Then, for each title in the words collection, so right now, this words collection has 25 um, strings all split up into words. So, for each of these, for each of the 25, or if I make this 1,000, it'll be 1,000, I want to get the word. So for word in title, so for each word in the 25, I want to check if the word is uppercase. So most people put stock symbols in all uppercase. For example, GME is GameStop, GME. What I need to do is add the, quest, uh, the dollar sign because some people start any stock symbol with the dollar sign. That's very common in forums, on Twitter, um, the dollar sign initiates that it's a stock symbol, but for now I haven't done that. So if the word is uppercase and the word is not in these known stocks, then I want to append each word to this potential stock symbols. And now let's check out this potential stock symbols. Okay, so what it has done is it has picked up these. Now, we like the stonk makes. These we know are not stock symbols. So I can add these to the known stocks. But A, we have to be careful with, right? Because A can also be a stock symbol. And I believe it's Agilent Technologies. Okay, so we got to be careful on that. GME we know is GameStop. We like, so I have to just ex exit that. DD is a stock symbol, but it also might be due diligence. 
So if somebody says, hey, I think this stock is going to blow up, but remember, DD, that means do your own diligence. Due diligence. Uh, 3D, GME again. So it does find the stock symbols that um, start with a dollar sign when the uh, it's all caps. But if these were lowercase, I would not find that. AMC is AMC Movies. SPCE is Virgin Galactic. Um, YOLO, even though I have YOLO here, I didn't have YOLO with a um, period. So it still picks that up. Um, IRA, I, so this is Nokia. So that's how I'm going to be a little more up to date on which stocks this subreddit is going to kind of collude together to see if they can make an impact on the stocks. So this is just a small example of what uh, PRA can do. So I hope... Uh, Hope this helps somebody do their own stock market research. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to continue to see me using Python to help me with my finance uh, automation. Uh, please subscribe also if you want to see me build my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis. And uh, please like this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.